volunteering again for another year to help out with this process. This uh, select board uses this as a planning team. Um, we go through the budget process so we don't get, uh, hopefully don't get too many surprises. I know last year we did get a surprise. It was on our, our on the CIP, the fire truck, but I think we thought we were buying it last year, but we did. But that may come up in this coming year as well, with, you know, infrastructure being what it is, mm -hmm. um, well, so unforeseen. We do have, uh, well, let's just go through. So yeah, what sorry. I thought we would do is we would go through, um, and we'll invite the department heads, um, I think, to the next meeting to go through, but Bob, if you're here, if, you, if there are things that jump out, please feel free to, uh, I think I can think of at least one thing that probably should make it onto this, uh, onto this, um, under your department. So, uh, we'll go through it. Um, I'll just walk you to the doctor real quick, though. So you have... Obviously, the, the what department it's under, what the um, what the item is, the priority. You know, we were looking at this the other day. The priorities uh, we're going to revisit. Obviously, um, they uh, may or may not be in the right order any longer. So we can look at that. The gross capital cost that we anticipate. Some of them are uh, woefully under. Uh, Underestimated, as, like, as in the uh, the town admin slash police facility. I don't know who would have thought three hundred twenty thousand <laughs> gross capital cost. I think they're just a placeholder, to be honest with you. Mm -hmm. But um, and the target purchase year that we want to do, and then the outline years, how much we're hoping to put aside each year for that, and then the you know to the total cost of the of the after the ten year period, what's currently in the CIP fund now for the purchase towards uh, that item. The uh, future years, other sources, and the total funding of the project. And these estimated capital costs, they have been updated to be more uh, recent than last year, right? They just didn't carry over cost, correct? Because, no, you know, like if fire trucks, whatnot, they, they go up every year. Right. right. That's not something we have to deal with, but. Um, that is something we have to deal with, actually. Well, the fire truck. I'm, I'm talking about other things. No, right? but that's what I mean. Not the fire truck, but other things is what we would have to right, talk about. Right, but we should be looking at a current number unless this, just, this field just got copied and pasted from, from the prior one. It did. Um, it did. That's what I suspected. So we need to reevaluate. If, are the um, gross capital costs still realistic? Mm -hmm. Are they not? Uh, the highway department, in fact, there's one or two items under the highway department that we believe one of the numbers is correct and one of the numbers is incorrect. You'll notice that um, the uh, GMC top kick, the estimated cost to replace, is 160000 And the um, international dump truck with plow is also estimated to be $160,000. They're different types of vehicles, different weight classes. I can't imagine they cost exactly the same. Yeah, so that obviously seems, there's, that seems high. there's um, one of the numbers got transposed incorrectly from last year is what I'm assuming happened. So, mm -hmm. but well, I remember last year they, they, as far as target year, I think that that's the feedback we're really going to need from mm -hmm. department heads to find out unrealistically because mm -hmm. there were a few things that got accelerated. And, yeah. and the time frame was unrealistic for right. And are the uh, priorities still the same? Um, yeah. And are there other things that need to be added on? You know, right? Because I'm looking at only two target year purchases. 2018 should be you know the boilers. Well, it's showing target year 18 right now, currently. Mm -hmm. The only things, and, and I can't imagine we're going to get off that sheet in 18. Mm -hmm. I can't imagine either. So, with that, we want to go start with the government admin. And uh, so, the first item you just brought up, Kevin, was the town hall boiler. Gross capital cost we had at $20,000. When we costed this out last year, um, we thought this was sort of the median price when we looked at. I just looked research online. We hadn't actually called anyone, so if anyone has any other feedback. But it's it does the entire building, right, including the police station, mm -hmm. right? Or is it just yeah. Yeah. yeah? And that's cutting out the boiler using the existing pipe network that's here, and the so distribution yeah. network, yeah. right? Okay. That was just fit the physical boiler. Right, but there's, I mean, in this thing, the chief too. There's been several instances where. That's become a topic in several discussions as a recently in the current condition and, and expected life. Yeah. What did we replace with that? Some circulating pumps recently? Two, two 
circulating pumps. Two circulating yeah. pumps. And they're circulating now and doing well. It's not Place. And that would be something we could use with the new boiler system, correct? I mean, it, it, yes. the boiler system would heat the water. It's the circulating pumps that moved it through those loops. Right. Right. So it wasn't money out the window. <clears throat> no, we asked that question actually when we were, when, well, we had to replace them one way or another, mm -hmm. but we did ask that question as I recall. So. All right, so new town hall roof. There is not a, um, there's not a, um, amount in there we would need to add that and that would be the entire roof gone. We did the, the sort of the steeple and we did the back of the annex um, but not um, not the full building so we would need to get an estimate for that moving forward and then um, I'm drawing a blank as to what year we thought we might do that in or need to do that in. Would you ever consider doing the metal roofs versus the shingles? Um, I mean, it just I can't get, imagine why um, we wouldn't. But the only concern I would have with the metal roof is once you have a snow load on there and it shifts, yeah, it's always going sliding down. Oh. And when you park cars out front of you, you might um, have some, that's a good point. some claims for some that's damage. A good point. That's a good point. Yeah. I just thought longevity wise. Right. Though. Is there some well, longevity, uh, you know, it, it will last longer than and anything. I mean, your yeah. asphalt roof, as long as it doesn't get hit by a flying branch or something like yep. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, yep. but I think it all slides. A good point. I mean, yeah, that's a good point. You kind of want that on your house, but probably exactly. not on a municipality. Would we have historical yeah. issues with that too? I, I was wondering about that. Yeah, so. I don't know. I don't know. We can ask the questions. Uh, Let's see. Perhaps, yeah. but I think there's been enough um, alteration of this building at this point. It would be difficult to mm -hmm. to make that argument. But I think you'd have to be looking at both costs. I think that you know the perception is that metal roofing is very, very much more expensive than asphalt, but that's changed a lot in different years through different methods. But also I think you'd want to look at what's our long range plan for this building? Mm -hmm. What's going to happen here mm -hmm. after our lifetimes? Mm -hmm. So we'll let's leave that uh, for, uh, for research. I was going to say we can ask it before we <coughs> figure it out, but that will help you go next door and we'll talk about it later. So fall on us, so, so I'll move the estimate. Yeah. All right. Uh, next is the culvert repair. This under, you can see the tab that's on page three, I believe. Mm -hmm. Under notes, um, the town has a culvert repair fund. We may choose to place any CIP recommended money in this fund and adjust the annual CIP request accordingly, but it would be helpful to keep sight of culvert repairs as part of the CIP plan. We started this year with 70000 and the culvert fund, we have spent about sixty-six. For the remainder in our back pocket, there should be any cost overruns in the culvert type of dorm repairs. Uh, the culvert agency over this fund. These are two things now. So, um, that we look at, we refer back to um, relative to the budget. There are two um, two remaining culvert issues for folks to be aware of. One on Sligo Road near Pinch Hill. Um, let's see, this culvert was repaired in 2015 and reopened as a one-lane bridge. You recall it's far down. Um, if you put down Pinch Hill Road to the right, it's down the bottom That's of the hill. It's cold, right? Yes. And that was closer for quite a while before we even proceeded with getting that one lane temporary. Um, sure. About six months or so. It wasn't. Uh, it wasn't a full just, year. Just under, yeah, about half a year. Yeah. So, um, and then there's, there's another one on Sligo Road um, on the other end, closer to the farm. It's a double, a double culvert. Um, it's, it's strange. There's two very small pipes next to one another. Um, and the, the, the flow of the water, does, it, it doesn't contain enough. It, it needs work. Water pools there, apparently. Um, it's not the highest priority that we had, um, but um, we have um, we have been awarded a grant to have draft of regional planning to help examine funding if opportunities to repair that um, that particular culvert. So the, um, but we don't expect the results until sometime next year, but just something to keep in mind. But so unlike the, the aggression we talked about, and uh, uh, saying, oh, that's cold, this, this hasn't suffered any, um, I 
mean, I know it's deteriorating, but th this is not a situation where we've had experience any sort of having to close the road or... or Since we did this re these repairs? No, no. this I'm talking about the, the newest one here, like with Sligo, the St. Albert, we were required to close that, right? We were required to close that because of... Well, we were advised the erosion was on the side. We were we advised to close it. But this is not at that point. This is the, the second, second one? one? Yeah. No, not at all. Not at all. Not at all. Uh, it might actually be helpful if you went out, if you went down to take a look at it, down to the farm, right? Mm -hmm. Go past the farm, and it's there's a, there'll be a white house on your right, which is the Charlie Potter's house. Mm -hmm. Just a little further past that, you'll see a retaining pool pond yeah, to your yeah. right, and there's a, a dam of sorts there. Can't you kind of feel two little humps in the road? Yes. Yeah. 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 Okay. And then I believe either before or after those two little humps, you will see an indent in the road. And I remember where, the, um, the two little humps. Yeah, so. There are issues there that have been brought to our attention, but again, it's not, um, there, it doesn't rise to a critical level yet, but it's uh, something we want on the um, Should we be putting some out. money in the capital for this? Which have a zero value now. Is yes, well, that's why that's why we have the notion. Okay. We don't know. Um, we want to get some estimates back. That's why we're waiting for some more information on okay. um, on um, from Boyle Tanner. They did some for, uh, for our first area of work and um, and Aaron back from Stratford Regional Planning. So, so in, in the way I read this, we won't expect to hear from them until 2018. Stratford Regional, yes. Okay. Well, so Tanner will have some more information, I believe, before that. So. Okay. So do we need to do anything with this in terms of value, or can we just wait until we hear from the engineers and whoever else? Well, we'll have more information, at least on the first, we have more information, we know I don't have it off the top of my head, but we have um, options for the Sligo Road, the Pinch Hill end. We have options for that. Um, the fix that was uh, done was it last year, the year, two years ago, I think now, yeah. uh, three years maybe, two years. 15. Yeah, 2015. Um, was um, more temporary in nature. I mean, all of the, um, all the associated work on the side with, um, Rip wrap that was put in and the fabric and all that can be incorporated into a larger fix. Uh, so it wasn't for nothing, but um, but it's just a temporary. The, the one lane um, access is temporary, so we do have um, we do have an estimated cost on that. So, but I mean, in the bigger picture, um, perhaps showing my ignorance, given the volume on that road, I mean, and it's it doesn't landlock anyone from access. Are we required to return that to its former state? Two-lane road. I don't know. Yeah. Are we required to? I mean, does the state or any agency require that we do that? I mean, it's granted this is temporary. And we had it closed, and it was a um, it was a hardship on the farm that's on that road. But it was, um, but people did have access. They were coming from the other side, um, from either side. They just couldn't travel the whole way. So, are we required to have the road open? I don't believe so. But at least something we could ask the municipal association. You know, the, the, the second one we're looking at, I mean, shouldn't there be some money set aside just for these, these um, assessments and to have the engineering work done? Is it, is it that, money needed for that, or is that money already earmarked? That, that money is, is put in through um, the budgeting process for uh, professional services. Okay, so so that's not CIP related, then, no. as far as that cost? No. I mean, it, it, some of the CIP money could be used for on-site engineering after the, you know, the project has, has been approved and it's ongoing. But um, but we don't use it for preliminary. We we use that um, professional services line okay. typically. So and we can note about uh, culverts. Okay. Next we have Old Mill Lane Bridge. We have, um, it's also a note on that. Um, 
this would be okay. So at the moment, the CIP represents the town's portion of the bridge replacement. The town will need to fund the entire cost of the bridge, and they get reimbursed by the state for 80% share. We're on the um, we're on the list for um, for bridge um, bridge money. Um, it's a very lengthy list, so I don't anticipate getting it anytime soon. But we are on the list, and this would be the state's portion, or rather the town's portion, 193,000. Replace that. And you've broken that into four equal installments beginning in 2020? Yeah. I mean, we can move that around. It doesn't have to stay like that, but this is, um, yeah. We wouldn't be getting anything until um, 2024, I believe, is yeah. the. Uh, and the bridge yeah. will hold together until then, we think? Yeah. Okay. Cool. And the 193 is estimated to be 20% of the cost. Mm -hmm. But we would have to front the full amount, whether it's borrowed down the short term or long term. We would, yes. So it's basically a million dollar cost for that yeah. bridge. Yeah. Pretty close to it. Expensive little bridge. I'm sure it will be by 2024. <laughs> More than likely. Yikes. Yeah. So the uh, temporary fix that was put in place was an expensive temporary fix. All right. So the big kahuna, really, is town administration police facility. Um, Chief, what was the um, the estimate on the um, um, concrete version? Uh, a million one. A million one. Okay. So, at which location? It was Wherever it goes. Okay. That's just building. And site it, work. It's just the building and site work, but it, I mean, right. yeah, by land, building, it would be right. more. That's just the building and yeah. the site work. Right. So, there's town only currently or town purchased land. Right. That's very easy to see. That's a septic. No, all of that's included, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Just no furnishings so, inside. Sorry, correct. And that's just for the police mm -hmm. building? That's just, just for the administrative or right. think okay. just police? Just police. Sure. Hey, if it gives me buildings, hey. <laughs> Style small. <laughs> <laughs> police well, you're holding chairs on my hat, too. <laughs> Peggy tables. What, uh, I'm sorry, it was one point what? One point, uh, almost one point two. Two. Um, we're waiting to hear back from uh, committee members. So I'm sitting here. I thought it was very good. Regarding the uh, RFP that the yeah. chief put together. I thought it was very good. And then we'll forward it on. Yeah. But we're waiting for some additional information yeah. from uh, Charlie Putnam. I didn't get the pictures. Collecting. Yeah, I can forward the pictures. Yeah. I said that should be a second email. Because they, they all won't go out once like I didn't that. get a second email. Oh, okay. I don't think I did. I think I did the RFP. But the post was very well written. I can send them. Oh. Right after okay. Okay. Yeah. Right. Did you want comment from us on that? Or just. Yeah. Okay. Or you could direct them to Mike if you want. Okay. And then you yeah. can chat with me. <laughs> All right. That doesn't matter. Well. Or By the way, you can send them to both of us, actually, if I be Um. Okay, so we have that very large, scary number to, um, to consult with the um, select board. Uh, renovation of Town Hall, third floor of Town Hall, the, I think the proper amount is in there currently. Um, police Department, unless someone has another. Okay, I didn't think so. Um, police Vehicle Replacement with Equipment. Um, 225 with biannual budget of 22.5 is still adequate. Yeah. Okay. So this is showing two, is. 200,000. Is that an error? No, no, because it's, it's over the 10 year period. Oh, got it. Okay. Got it. All right. Are any of our vehicles part of this exhaust, or this thing that's making these cups bent? Have we had that checked? Police officers. Yeah, we have. I'm sorry, police officers. Yeah, we've installed uh, CO detectors in here. Is that what it is? That that's what's causing it? Is CO? Okay. Yeah. So. But it's, it's not all of it. It's just some. It's, it depends how the aftermarket products are put in. That's what right, the that's what was, is telling us. It's what it's, they it's add. It's seeping through. Okay. Right. So maybe you drill holes in the floor to yeah. connect the them. cages and the boxes. Funny and how those fumes get yeah. back. Yeah. I, I still don't buy, buy that. If the, if the exhaust system is sound and it exits beyond the perimeter of the building, there should be no. Yeah. You could have holes in the floor. Yeah. So I don't buy that. Yeah. Okay. But that's our fourth safe no more. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, because I don't so, recall them all. Right, exactly. <laughs> and currently, we purchase a new vehicle every other year. Correct. 
Yeah. It's forty four thousand every other year, so we break it down to twenty two thousand every year. That's how we show it. Forty five. So that's why we have it every year. But the purchase is not every year. I understand it's every other Correct. year. Correct. Using two years of set aside each year, each every other year. Correct. And the standard is to stay with the SUVs. Yes. Are you anticipating other uh, expenses? Well, um, the only other fairly large expense was that we're hoping to sometime in the very near future to, pay, to purchase a, our own radar trailer, okay. uh, message board unit. Gotcha. Uh, the one that we currently share with Milton, Barrington, and the Sheriff's Department is it's busted and it's beyond repair. The internal mechanism is fried, so it's actually sitting in our garage just as, as, as a large paperweight. Uh, Barrington has opted out of it. They're going to get their own unit next year. Okay. Uh, the Sheriff's Department has no uh, concern uh, for uh, doing anything with the unit in the future. And Milton is looking at getting it, uh, its own unit. So, uh, How expensive is it? You're talking about fifteen, twenty thousand dollars $20,000. And there's no part of what we, that current unit that can be, that can replace the motherboard or whatever is, controls the circuitry? Uh, well, they can, but you must just buy it. It's almost as expensive, it's expensive. because that, that, that's the most expensive part. It's, it's the internal mechanism, the brains of the unit. I mean, the rest is just a trailer uh, with, yeah, with, with a radar antenna on it. So, um, is it the solar ones? or the? Yeah, it's solar. It's solar. And it's one of your solar as well. Yeah. And I know it can't um, be documented, but I mean, the benefit of that, for that money spent, I mean, you can argue one way or the other that people see it slow down. But no realistic tracking of that. I do. Well, well yeah, some, some do, but, but it also allows us to track one. You can use it to track the number of vehicles because it counts the number oh, of vehicles oh, yeah. going in either direction. It's not capture plates. Gives you a date. No, no, no plates. Just, just the numbers. Uh, the number of vehicles, the date, it's the times. So you can use it as, as a counter. Um, rather than uh, uh, stick with like our current version, it just says your speed is blah blah blah. Mm -hmm. If you look at the newer versions, like Summersworth had posted on uh, Stackpole Road uh, for mm -hmm. several weeks, oh, yeah. you guys put a message That's on there. So please slow down. Slow down uh, uh, family fun day. I mean, so um, right. the highway department of the town could use it as well mm -hmm. to promote events because you can put any type of message on the board that you want. Right. You know, family fun day coming up or detours or whatever the case yeah. might be. Yeah. It's just my like standard. Your <coughs> so it's kind of a little bit of an upgrade compared to what we have done there. Now. But you can buy units that just simply do traffic counts, the, the strips across the road that just simply count tires, count traffic. Uh, you can do that. Do they uh, even manufacture that anymore? Is that? Yeah, that's that's about three thousand, and we've actually um, uh, have that uh, for our uh, uh, equipment proposal for next year coming out of the uh, 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 PD funding, mm -hmm. um, and we can get a, we can get a grant through Highway Safety to purchase half of that. So, and that's actually stealth unit. You mount, you mount it on a telephone pole someplace, so you're actually getting more accurate speed speed uh, counts. Because, you know, you see that, that big trailer down the roadway, of course, you, most people slow down. However, if you just have a little uh, uh, box that's mounted on a telephone pole or a tree next to the roadway, you have no idea what it is, yeah. you're not going to slow down. You're going to continue to travel whatever you know what the speed the is. But I think you were talking about the box on the side of the road with the, with the black cord. The black just, cord a, yeah. just a cart. Just a cart. I think that's pretty. Is that used that much anymore? Or? I know the. Uh, um, I didn't see a whole lot of those. Uh, Strathfield County. Uh, the regional group, planning. Use. Regional planning. They use it for traffic yeah. counts. Mm -hmm. And the state uses it for traffic counts. Mm -hmm. um, the box that I was describing, well, obviously, it will tell you speeds, but also you can use it for traffic counts right. as well. And that's we borrowed Summersworth a couple of years ago, and that's what we did on Bear Road. Right. Mm -hmm. And we had the issues down there. And, um, you know, you have these a couple of particular residents that always say, yeah, the cars are always doing 50, they're always doing 70, they're always doing 100 by my house. You stick that box up there, and well, over the last, you know, two weeks, these are what the cars are doing, so they're really not doing 50. But you lose the benefit of, like this one, mm -hmm. if she don't see that trailer, she'll right. look for that. Well, well, they serve these, different these purposes. Are two, right, they're two different purposes and two different purchases. So, so the one, the pole mount one is more for capturing data and, and, and Correct. analyzing, Correct. not for not public, promoting not public for promoting safety. That's not a capital expense. That's not a capital mm -hmm. expense. Okay. Yeah. So. And none of these are leasable or, I mean, you, you have to buy them. I don't know. I imagine you could probably lease it through some type of a program. Yeah. Yeah, you then you're paying interest. And, mm -hmm. So, okay. so thinking that you know in 2018 we're hopefully 
at least considering you know, doing something with the police station and we're looking for a cruiser, I guess I would put the radar trailer up to 2019 or 2020. Okay. I don't want to get too greedy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but that's, that's not and, on. And likewise, I, either, I I, I either a piece of okay. equipment, we can get a matching grant through highway safety. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, so it's literally half the price. So if, yeah, so we're well talking half the price. But we still have to fund the whole thing. We pay it and we get reimbursed right. half. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you don't have to apply for the funding. It's it, it's a it's a guarantee. Well, no, you, you apply for it. Just so like any other grant. You, before you make but, the but purchase, how, you how, the, the grants that come on Highway Safety are, uh, they seem to be a little more generous than some of the other police grants that are out there. Mm -hmm. Especially when you're dealing with uh, traffic enforcement and traffic collision reduction programs. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Right. Anything else for the police department? No, I think we're good there. All right. <laughs> fire department. They have a fire engine replacement um, that we're going to uh, leave on there because um, I want to have a conversation with the fire chief regarding his other vehicles. I'm not I'm suggesting that I want to buy a new fire truck. It's just that um, <laughs> If he tells us in 10 years, we should, we should be planning for right. it. So yeah, I want yeah. it on here. So. Uh, the air pack refilling station, uh, target year was 2019. I'm not sure if he's still looking at that. Uh, paving the parking lot uh, was 2025. And the paving the front was for 2019. We should have a conversation with him, though, about what it would be to do it all at the same time. But. I know there was additional work that was suggested would be needed for the front, shoring up where the trucks uh, park. Mm -hmm. or, I, I think, I think time, that the, so. the base coat where the additional bays were is not the same base coat as, you know, as far as what's underneath. I thought yeah. they took it down with the, with the compacted. Mm -hmm. Here you can see it settles. In. Yeah, it was the suggested that we were going to have to go off back up. So. Yeah. So maybe that is, it's not practical, but we'll at least have him look into the uh, And then the, um, the um, septic upgrade. Do we not have an exhaust system put in there yet? I skipped over the fire station road too. Uh, the exhaust system? I don't know. But we can ask him about that. Yeah, I think we talked about it. We that. talked about it, but I don't remember if it was budget or if it was CIP. Yeah, I, don't either. I don't know what level it goes to. Mm -hmm. And the sewer upgrade is septic. The septic exactly. system. I don't know where we septic. can tie into the, the town sewer. Doesn't go that high. Yeah, there's just water there, right? There's just water. Yeah, the fire station. water. Sure. Just, just the water, just the fire station, right? There's no sewer yeah. there? Yeah. Right, yeah. They end yeah. up at Karis, doesn't it? So I think it ends up yes. at Karis, yeah. But also, these, these purchase dates. complete passive uh, uh, bystander over there. <laughs> I mean, the purchase dates, you know, target year on those, um, I mean, that should probably be looked at as well to make sure that current systems will last that long. Mm -hmm. It's nice to say, well, we'll just push that out, but you may not be the one to decide it goes out that far. That yeah. That's the fail. A true statement. Or, or in septic. I mean, that, yeah. that would become an immediate. We have to do it now. This was the suggested year that Mark gave us last year, and we can, we'll, we'll revisit it and see if but it's that's still realistic. Yeah. 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 Uh, so that's all we had for the fire department. The highway department, we're at a bit of a loss because we don't have a road agent currently. Um, but I think we're still accepting applications through tomorrow or the next day. People want to apply. Um, he has uh, or had the 2007 F GMC top kick as the number one priority for 2020. Uh, the Bobcat skid steer loader jack. I think I gave you one. Make sure I gave you As his number two for 2021, the International 7400 dump truck and plow for 2025, and the one ton for 2026. They need boiler system for next year. It was his fifth priority. So that's right. I think these numbers are just arbitrary. I don't think they really were the order they're supposed to be in. That turn tracks. But the year following, is that the year of the current equipment that we have? Like yes. These Bobcat is a yes. 2010 model. Yes. Highway Department so boiler, that's not a boiler down there. That's a f hot air furnace, isn't it? Or yes. Right? Currently, yes. Yeah. And okay. really isn't a industrial. Yeah, no, right. that was the problem. So we don't necessarily need a new boiler down there. We just need a new. It's, it should be a new heating. Just heat a new system. heating system. Okay. I thought it was radiant floor heating down there in the highway department. 
Yeah, but doesn't he have something on the wall too that it does, does it the does. station? I, the believe, I, I yes. believe it does. Yeah, yes. and that's the problem. It's that not the what floor, right? Replaced. No, no, it's not the floor. It's, it's, the floor uh, it's just, um, but the, yeah. So we're heating the floor. Then there must be some. So, well, that was kind of my question. How are we heating the floor? So. Yeah. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah. Heat the yeah. Mm. yeah. But the, the current system we have is undersized, regardless whether it yes. fails or not. That was it's what it was suggested to us. Yeah. The doors opening. <clears throat> so we we want to revisit that anyways. Yeah, see if it's really needed for this year, coming year or not. But and the transfer station, we have only a couple of things left on there. Uh, there's a few cans that um, uh, may or may not still be needed. We need to investigate regarding what ones we've already purchased this, this current year um, versus what's listed for 2019. I don't think we're in the process of trying to replace a number of the cans. So these still may be necessary, but we'll have to, we'll have to look into it again. So 2019, so two more years out for that. And a um, a new four yard compactor for uh, solid waste. However, but once again, when we do successfully hire a to, or someone to replace um, Jeff, um, he may come in with with different ideas, or Correct. he may even have a little more experience in certain yeah. areas of exactly. these, and may yeah. be able to determine that yep. you know uh, if there's other yeah, most definitely paths. Yep, most definitely. You may ask, you ask suggestions as far as the transfer station. So. Yeah, um, um, it was also um, suggested to us, I don't know if it would rise to the level of capital expense, but the, um, the concrete pads that were put in may not be big enough. So The pads that we just put in? Yeah, yeah. I was just going to say, weren't they just? They were just put for the, for the cans themselves. You got it. So when the trucks come in to, um, to pull the cans? Yeah. Um, the um, the apron that they sit on is not large enough, so the um, the truck itself is digging into the um, into no into the um, asphalt. Apron, the asphalt in front of the um, okay. So, so it's just a matter of, of dimensions of so. correct. So we may need to uh, we will eventually need to add more uh, concrete on that. Is so. that, uh, and perhaps I'm off base here, but is that, were, were we not advised by some guru on these things and how long to make these? And does that person have any, do we have any recourse? That person's no longer working for the town, so. Oh, okay. So that was, okay. Yeah, we didn't go out for that information. Okay. I would imagine there's standards for yeah. these sides. That's what we were told. So okay. I'm not an expert. I'm not, yeah. not trying to throw anyone okay. under the okay. garbage truck, but um, but tell me the pads. But it's not big enough place, apparently. So the pads that we have in place, great length and width in there, but as far as thickness, uh, are fine. The, the weight, the weight capacity yeah. is fine. As far as I know, that's fine. Uh, it's just uh, the length. So okay. yeah. I think what we're going to start looking at at solutions. It could just be adding on. I don't believe we're to tear the whole thing up. Yeah. It's just cutting out printing asphalt and right. putting in concrete, which doesn't excite anyone, so there's not a select board. So. No, but when we, when we add and abutting up to the current pad, too, it's not like you, you can just add, right. you know, a six or eight inch strip of concrete, because right. it'll, it'll, it'll right. flake off and right, break. Right, right. You've got to add Correct. substantial, right. and then, you know, and then when you dig in with, with the old stuff, on into rebar, might, and, yeah, you get tied you together. might collapse the existing one. And yeah, then, create a void you don't even see, yeah. you're disturbing the earth. So we don't know how much that will cost yet. <coughs> how we want to, uh, yeah. how we want to tackle it. So, but and we just wanted to be aware of that could be something that could be added on as a capital expense. So. And when this was these were put in, we told the installer the dimensions to put in. Yeah. And it is on us. So oh okay. yeah. It's not that they undersized it. <coughs> I don't believe so. I believe um, the estimate just wasn't correct. Anyhow, wanted to make sure that you were aware of that. Um, and, and just one more question. Yeah, of course. It, it was installed by, it wasn't installed by someone soon, someone new or my cousin's brother. No. It was installed by a company yeah. that does this. Oh, yeah. Not, yeah. They did yeah, not yeah, say, yeah. just so you know, every other one we're doing is this by this, and you want this by that. Not that I'm aware of. Okay. 
I, I wasn't down there managing it's those, water, so I don't know. We got what we have. What the how the conversation went down there, but that's yeah, that is. it's an issue we're going to have to deal with eventually. Um, nothing currently planned for other departments that I am aware of, but we do have some items from the school. Um, I'm not going to be able to speak to them effectively because I'm not on the school board, but Judy wanted us to be aware. She couldn't make it tonight, but she didn't want to share these with us. I'm sure she can go over them um, better than I can, but I want to make sure you all receive them tonight. Hey, sir, I'm seeing asbestos removal. Is that just because it's old? I, I, I don't know. It's no. haunting me. For, yes. I really thought we were done with asbestos removal. Yeah, I wasn't sure what the W is. What's the W oh. signify? I don't know. So I, what I would suggest is we only hold this. It says work completed, so it's under the completed file. Oh, okay. Oh, work yeah. completed over the last three years. Okay. Well, there you have it. Okay. Don't get us all upset. Oh, <laughs> like more asbestos. <laughs> really? Great. <laughs> I still think they're going to find more over there. Oh, I know. Through this down yeah, is, this, is, this is this it? Yes, this is it. This okay, is it. Okay, but actually right. I find it first. Well, we found some more. Okay, so but then they have a number of projects that they're they're um, they're planning. Looks like they're they're they're. Um, as soon as it's 2019, of course, it's also uh, subject to change, right? So, well, why don't we hold off and let Judy explain okay. that herself? Um, is there anything else that anyone would like to bring up this evening regarding this spreadsheet so far? Well, my only point on that would be also what is our long range plan in this building? Yeah, you know, are we going to continue to, to educate our K through six or for? For the school? Oh, yeah. I would love to come back and go answer that question. Right, exactly, exactly. Same thing with this building, same thing with that building. What are our long range plans? I mean, I, I can, I, well, I'm not going to answer tonight with this building because we have decided across the hall yet, yeah, but eventually I'll be able to, but I can't speak to the, uh, the school board's going to have to tell you that. I don't know what their long range plan is. So. I think there will always be a school there. It just may not be K to 6. I think there will always be a building there. Well, I. I don't know. I, I don't, I don't know if future. that main has room for all of our level at that There would definitely still be a building there because I can't imagine anyone's going to pay to tear it down. So yeah, right. yeah. That will go on a limp of that one. Yeah. But that's what we can do with the population, you know, mm -hmm. what happens. Mm -hmm. So, our next meeting, what I would like to do, find my calendar here, right? Exactly. I live and die by the phone now. Um, is, I'm going to send out, did the doodle poll work for all of you? Everyone was okay with the, you know, picking and choosing what day to work best out of the selected days? Because I want to work with the department heads and see who's going to be here, who's on vacation, who has a meeting that night, that sort of thing, before I say, oh, everyone's going to be here on you know, October 4th or whatever day. And none of them are available. So, theme was having a training or something that night. And yeah, you, know, up I think I got, you said you didn't know how it was going to be. I only came because of your email. Yeah. It's good to have the consistent people. Yeah, no, I appreciate it. No, it's nice to have that, yeah. Um, so I will send out, just look for that poll and let me know what um, what nights work best. I should have that done. Okay, so you're going to send that same thing around? I am, but that's okay. If that works, yeah. fine. Mm -hmm. It's easier than just saying one date and then everyone has to reply back, oh, but no, I've got whatever. You may want to do a couple of, a couple of meetings in a row too, if that's possible. Yeah, I will. As in one that with might. the departments and then yeah. one for finalization yeah. or something. I have definitely do that. I'm not sure if I can do it on the same poll. Okay. I don't know. I'm, I may have to send out more than one, so if I do, I'll, I'll let you know. Because mm -hmm. in October, we're going to be getting into budget season. Yes, we are. Another year is over. Mm -hmm. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> Of the year down. So thank you all for coming. I was only half joking when I said if anyone knows anyone who wants to do it. Have we received a message? Yeah, that's fine.